The last airworthy Vulcan bomber is touring the UK with a series of flypasts to mark its final year of flight. Vulcans were designed and built at Woodford Aerodrome, in Chester Road, Stockport, for the Royal Air Force. Over the weekend, the XH-558 is flying over areas where the aircraft are displayed, such as Barton and Woodford. Making its maiden flight in 1952, the Vulcan acted as a deterrent during the Cold War. They were also used in combat during the Falklands War. The last remaining model originally arrived at RAF Waddington in 1960 and was the last to leave RAF service in 1993, according to organizers Vulcan to the Sky. Now though, engineering backers, including Rolls-Royce, have withdrawn support and the plane is beyond its flying hours. Steve Abbott, who helped to build Vulcans at Woodford said the aircraft had been part of his life. We did all the fatigue testing here to keep them in the sky and the 558 was born here, he said. Former Vulcan pilot Tucker Winnell said it was very emotional to remember flying them. They were a bomber that flew like a fighter aircraft, they had tremendous performance, he said. The rate of climb on takeoff was amazing. There are plans to open a Vulcan museum at Woodford later in the year. The Vulcan will make a low-level flyby along the runway at Coventry where a classic Air Force Meteor NF-11 will also be flying. On Saturday afternoon the Vulcan flew over Doncaster, Elvington, Scarborough, Sunderland Museum, East Fortune, Carlisle Airport, Barton, Woodford, RAF Coford, and East Midlands Airport. On Sunday from 1300 hours BST it will fly from Doncaster Airport to Bruntingthorpe, Coventry, Wellsbourne, RAF Museum Hendon, Duxford, Southend Airport, Norwich Airport, RAF Marham, RAF Waddington, and Cleethorpes.